I am currently halfway, well, a little less than halfway through. Welcome to Faye Cafe. And I feel like the best way to describe this book is just plain out flat silly. The plot, silly. The characters, silly. Like, everything's just silly. And I think it's fun, but not necessarily well written. I'm having a good time. I'll describe the plot to you. So, this girl accidentally kills a fae assassin. How? I don't really get it, but she, it happens. And so then this prince and his three assassin buddies go into the human world to kill her. And they shouldn't do that. And she runs around like, like a chicken with her head cut off. And then she gets the three assassin buddies to work at her cafe. And work as her bodyguards. And that's the story. So far. Also, the prince and her are going to fall in love. First of all, the amount of fey that went into that world is too many. I think it's a little ridiculous. And I get that the author wants to do, like, a whole series. But there could have been one less dude, I feel like. This just, it's not flowing good. Also, the friends isn't that nice of a guy, I don't think. He's very loyal, but he's a jerk. Also, they don't hang, they've hung out, like, three times, and he was exceedingly rude. Although, he's nice to her grandma. Which is nice. But she makes really good cookies, so everyone's nice to her. Do I have to say? I am not in love with it. But I am enjoying it. And at this point, I would consider reading the sequel. Which will be with one of the assassin dudes. And his romantic partner or whatever. But it's just silly. Don't go into this looking for the most amazing thing. At least at the halfway point. Also, this is really weird. Is she like... The author split it up into a part, but there wasn't a part one. So she just added the backstories and the front stories. Because I think she just really liked how that sounded. But she didn't think to include a part one. I checked. I was like, well, maybe I didn't notice. Because I am not the best noticer. So yeah, like I said, not the best written, but it's silly, it's fun. There's lots of things that I've highlighted and underlined and laughed at, which is all good. So, fun book, silly book. Silly book is the best way to describe it. Silly has been overused in this segment. Now probably in the next segment, unless I forget about this segment. I finished the book this morning. And I would say it's quite good. Everything I said before still stands, really. Hopefully you can see my face. But the romance turned out fairly good. It was fairly good, though. Um, I would say, overall, silly book. But worth the read. Four or ten. Um, I don't love any of it. I enjoyed it though, and I think that's what matters. That's the end of it. If you're interested in reading it, give it a go. It's not the best, but it's fairly funny. And if you're not interested, don't read. These books are here because I just filmed my February wrap-up video, which you should go watch because you love me. Anyways, I am a little over halfway through Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I meant to stop a chapter before or two before this, and I didn't because it's so good. And it's so floppy, and it's a journal style. I, I 
forgot I was gonna be eating a snack. So now I'm excited about it twice, which is fun. I'm enjoying it. I love, love, love how socially awkward Emily is. I love it. I would love to read more socially awkward main characters. And then I want to do a recommendation of all the socially awkward main characters I read. I could do this, and I could do Half a Soul, and uh, they're all going to be popular books because apparently that's all I read. That's not true. I read so many fairy tale retellings, and none of them are popular. This tool should be. They're amazing. Check out Celeste Bass now. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. What else is there to tell you about Emily Watts? I love the relationship between the love interest. I love the love interest. I love Wendell. Also, he has such a silly name, which makes total sense. And the twist that wasn't a twist, but was kind of a twist, was very fun. And I like how, I like how, like, it's so obvious he loves her. Like, he just does. And she's like, do 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 totally awkward. I love it. I'm using a purple pen for this book because it's got purple on the cover. And it's just like, it has to be purple. I don't know why I'm like this today. I'm going to put the book up here so you can stare at it. Just knit it at my bookshelf. Um, I should tell you things. I should tell you what's going on in the plot. So, Emily is going off on an adventure to talk to... Well, to learn about these fairies and this is like her last expedition before she publishes her encyclopedia and then her colleague who is her friend who I feel like the book should tell you it's a friend in the back like they're academic rivals like sure they're rivals but they're friends and like Emily is prickly but she's least prickly with it which is so cute, like, for the alarm dance, okay? And she's got a dog named Shadow. I didn't realize it was a dog until I read the back cover, because I was thinking, I thought they were rivals. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It's not Emily's stories. It's Emily's prickly person. <laughs> but it's so cute. I love it. I'm having such a good time. I love the relationship. I love the plot. I love the prose. I love how, like, you can tell Emily's character from her prose. Like, that is such a skill. And, like, I wrote... Oh, this is such a long clip. I wrote in the thing when I was annotating. Like, she comes off as a little snooty. And then you're reading. She's like, oh, she's just socially awkward and doesn't get it. And I love it. Like, you can tell that when she's writing. And, like, she's writing it in a way that's, like, it's like if she's like you, you can tell that's like how she would speak it out loud and it's pretty awesome so yeah that's my update a really long update on my halfway point of emily wilde's encyclopedia fairies and you enjoyed it i decided so i finished emily wilde's encyclopedia fairies and let me tell you i loved it so much it's kind of stupid how much I loved it. Um, I love the Romans confession. That was adorable. I like Emily's character a lot. I love Emily's character a lot, actually. She's wonderfully written. I also really like Wendell's character. I think the characters in this are pretty strong. I like the fey lore i'm wondering if losing a finger is a common thing in fey lore because in the folk of the air trilogy or series or whatever jude doesn't have one of her fingers so and that was someone didn't have one of their fingers in the story so i'm wondering if that's something that pops up i'd say the conclusion is perfectly satisfying and I'm excited to see where the romance goes in future books and them exploring Wendell's um Wendell's goal dream. And I'm excited about all that. I'm also excited to see how that will affect Emily. I'm very excited to read the second book, 
which will take a while to get here because I want the paperback. Paperback is a pain to get at the moment, but I'm very excited to read it. Hopefully it's as floppy as this one. I don't know, I feel like I'm getting like a different country's edition because the cover is so different. There's like a so different version of this book. But I'm very excited and I loved this so so much so so much and it's a triple star oh this book i feel like it's made for me 10 out of 10 would recommend and i feel like i said enough in the other clip i'm also tired so you're gonna see me in like the same thing and it's like a different angle in this next clip here I am trying to lose my spot halfway through the very secret society of irregular witches and I want the cover to focus sorry about the ambulance and I am enjoying the plot I'm enjoying this setting a lot I can't say that I'm fond of the characters or their romance I would say they're okay I'm not loving them I'd also say that these Isle of the Pros is trying to be funny, and I'm not buying it, <laughs> which lots of people like this book, so it probably is at least a little funny, but I don't know, it's just okay. I really like the plot. I feel like what I've said adequately sums up my experience. What do I think of the romance? The romance is okay. I like the idea of them together. I don't, I don't love the characters. Like, I'm attached enough for to them that I will keep reading and stuff and I'm not like, oh, I hate the characters. I'm just not attached, so that's fun. I'm tired though, so maybe that's playing a role and I'll feel better tomorrow. However, I'm enjoying the book. It's not about to be a favorite, at least at the halfway point. So, ta ta! I'll see you in the next clip. So I finished The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. It was okay. I like the setting there's no plot so i can't like the plot but if there was a plot if what you could call a plot i enjoy that i don't enjoy i don't think the romance was well developed the part where they fall in love is really in that this is kind of spoilerly but whatever it doesn't matter much they get together and drink every night for a while and they just the author just throws in a couple scenes of like their most impactful inf interactions but it's very this happened and this happened and another time this happened that's literally in the book so that wasn't my favorite it feels preachy if that makes sense like we're very much told what's going on, which is kind of not nice. And another thing, I found the first, like, Jenny's love confection to be very cute and romantic. But I have no memory of it, so it's just forgettable. And I'm very disappointed because I was very much looking forward to this book and I just I don't like the author's prose style I think which sucks I blame Kim Lee Yu I read the paper mantra the 
pros in that were beautiful and now i'm just looking for beautiful pros and more now and that this just didn't have that i think if i read this on kindle i would have liked it more but lately i've been more picky so maybe not i don't know it's just and also like the things that seems like such a big deal were such a non-issue like jamie's trauma the confrontations of edward and primrose like all of it was solved so fast and half of it off page i feel like it could have been better but i really enjoyed the concept of it so i don't regret reading it but i'm not gonna read it again now i want to rank these so you know how much you should read each of these i'm gonna do it from worst to best so worst was the fey cafe the characters were cliche and the plot were ridiculous it was silly if you want silly you should read this I enjoyed it but it was meh although i am likely to read the sequel this is close to that one i just liked the setting and the vague outline of a plot more than whatever that was and yeah also in this one i didn't say this before i think there's too many characters like lucy she was irrelevant one of the sisters wasn't relevant at all either so yeah i don't know and then this one loved it favorite book out of the batch my new favorite i loved it so much and it's so floppy read this one like those ones if you're interested in read them they'll be fine you'll enjoy it well enough this one if you weren't interested in before consider being interested because it's so good and if you are interested so so read it i loved it loved it so anyways that was the video thank you to my charter school for buying these books for me thank you for my phone for recording this for me and thank you for youtube for hosting this and thank you for you to you for watching this and i hope to see you in a future video